lots going on as far as the New England scene in MMA. Yeah, isn't something going on with the Connecticut fighter, I believe, in CES? Oh, who? Pedro Gonzalez? Pedro Gonzalez, Well, yeah. Pedro is from the Boston Boston area. Yeah, not Connecticut. Not Connecticut. Close Close the round, it's though. in New England. Right. Yes, it's somewhere yeah. around there. So uh, Bob Seeger doesn't know geography. No, he, well. yeah, you just flew in. Yeah, yeah it just, just flew in. Out. You know, I fly in planes. <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't look at maps. You know, just tell me where to go. Excellent. <laughs> just drop me off. Yeah, exactly. Get me an Uber. Get I'll me there. there. That's how we got here today. <laughs> so, uh, so a lot of news today, as far as um, people on Instagram. I did tell them earlier. Uh, Pedro Gonzalez who uh, had the same situation kind of as we thought with, that Johnny Campbell had with um, getting tested positive for too much pot THC? in his system, yeah, THC. THC. Uh, it's false. Fight night or whatever. Um, it never Pedro happened. had the same thing. I didn't know this was going to do the same thing, but today Pedro announced that um, his loss or no contest, no contest is overturned back to a win. So Pedro posted today on Facebook, and I just got this, and there's a big to-do going online right now as far as uh, Pedro and that win and what should happen. That was an interim title fight yeah. where he did win yeah. against Salamita. Yeah. Uh, what are you thinking about it, the whole how this fits into the Johnny thing and about the belt and that talk itself? Yeah, I think it's pretty pretty wild you know, I'd say, uh, I feel like we we're talking about it on this, in this room specifically. You know, we were talking to Johnny and we were saying, you know, like, I think even before this was resolved, like, what do you think this would do for other fighters in the region that we, and we think we specifically even did bring up Pedro's case. Um, and to see it through and for it to uh, even kind of resonate back and right the wrong that we know was wrong was... It's pretty crazy. I didn't expect that at all. I really didn't expect that. And it shows, uh, I think it's pretty cool of uh, Rhode Island to acknowledge that they did something wrong. I don't know if they made any kind of statement. I don't I don't know if I would either, but, you know. Drop it's, and run. It's, it's, I, it's fixing itself I respect right now. it. I respect it, <laughs> yes. you know. Respect that they, they admitted they're wrong, you know. So I, I think it's great. It's amazing. I think that, we, that there's a question that you posed earlier on Facebook. People are going wild about what happens with this belt situation? Mm -hmm. That's where that's where I was thinking. I think we were talking about earlier. Like, if we think about the context of the situation, right? That was an interim title fight against Salamita. He won, and he was supposed to fight Matt Bissett, who was the champion at the time. Mm -hmm. Matt Bissett eventually went to the UFC. So you fought in UFC Boston. Yeah, UFC Boston. Yeah, correct. And vacated his CS title. Mm -hmm. So therefore. Knowing what we know, knowing that Pedro won that fight, he most likely would have been the CES champion. So, Fighting for the real, like, for the, the main belt against someone else. I mean... Well, I mean, he would have been the, inter would have been the interim yeah, champion. Which, so, like, he would have been promoted to... Yeah, but the, he still would have had a fight champion. for that belt, I think. No, right? no, no. I mean, he would have fought to, like, defend and solidify it. But, like, in okay. terms of paper, he is since he has the interim title, yeah, he's right. promoted okay. to normal champion. Like, Michael Bisbing in the UFC, when he was champion at, at uh, middleweight, um, he had Robert Whitaker, who was fighting for an interim belt against, I think, Yo Romero. And uh, he won that fight. Robert Whitaker did. And uh, was the interim champion. Michael Bisbing was the champion at the time. Then he, Michael Bisbing, instead of fighting, Whit Whitaker fought... Uh, GSP lost his title. GSP was then the champion with Whitaker interim title. GSP then retired again with uh, without fighting. So Whit Whitaker was promoted to the champion. Oh, I see. All right. Long well, story. Makes sense, long story you short. Just explained it. Perfect. Yeah. So the question is: Should Pedro Gonzalez get a belt? Like, um, how does that work? Yeah. Yeah, he should have got the, like you said, the championship belt. So. Do they dig one out of the basement and give him the, the 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 featherweight belt, or do they give him one of those new shiny ones and say, you know, all the pain and suffering and you losing that and all this other stuff, the, you know, being CES will do the right thing. Let's give you a nice belt because you were the champion at one time. Am I wrong? 
I mean, that <laughs> sounds like an amazing gesture to me. <laughs> I ran a company, I probably would do such a thing. Mm -hmm. Especially when uh, two fighters fighting on your promotion come pop for, the, pop for the weed, and, you know, it was the Rhode Island I mean, State Commission, and they are the only I mean, MMA, professional MMA organization. So there's no one else, you know, you can measure this against, you know, they're the yeah, other they're, ones. They're and, not commissioning any other yeah, fights there. So, yeah, I think they should, you know. It'd be nice. Yeah. It'd be nice. I mean, playing devil's advocate, I think they should do it. Technically, sh do they have to? No. Probably not. But, but it'd be great. It'd be amazing. It'd be a nice token, you know? It would To be, be like, this is behind us. But, they right. didn't even have any involvement in it. And that could be like, yeah, we were pushing for this to get changed. Here's a new belt. Make a little here's statement. maybe yeah. you can give them an old belt Christmas if you is want. coming. Here's, your, let's, you know? here's another thing. Christmas they, is coming. When they announced the holidays. his positive failure, it was, I would say, around the end of November, close to Christmas, because that's Christmas time. Pedro and I talked about that, and I was like, you know, this is a shitty time for you know the commission to announce it, or this to get leaked, or this to make news, right around Christmas time when the fight happened months ago. You know what yeah. I mean? So. Let's uh, let's put out a petition. You know, let's put out a little post out there. Get Pedro his belt. Yeah, <laughs> free his, Pedro's uh, belt. Yeah, free his belt. I think we should hashtag so we'll, free free Pedro's belt. Yeah, give him give him a new one. That'd be freaking awesome. <laughs>